Hey everyone, Fells Life here and welcome to a different kind of tutorial today. This isn't going to be anything to do with games or anything, this is just going to be something cool that I found over the weekend. I'm going to show you how to do video wallpapers. So there's only one program you're going to need for this and it's by Push Entertainment and it's called Video Wallpaper. You'll get it at this link here, www.video whatever it is, I'm going to leave it in the description but you can read it up there at the top if you're in 1080p. Um, what you basically do is go to their website and download this Push Video Wallpaper. Unfortunately, it's not actually free. I know I'm nothing to do with this website. I'm not like you know trying to sell it to you or anything, but it doesn't seem to be that bad since the software does work and it doesn't. I haven't had any issues with it for the couple of weeks that I've been using it. Yeah, so unfortunately, yeah, I do have to pay for it. But you know, at least at least it works and there's no having any crashes or anything. But anyway, if you don't want to buy it, there is a little watermark that shows up after about an hour. So if you guys can deal with that and just want the free version, then go ahead. Anyway, so once you've got it, it'll uh, install, you just click OK and then it opens up this little window. You've got these options to like, you know, duplicate the video on each screen or stretch it or, you know, different ones. I don't really like the span one when you're using three screens because I uh, just use 1080p videos and they don't really tend to look that good. So here's a couple examples of the videos that I've downloaded to try. They do. They use MP4 and they all don't look very good when you stretch them over three screens obviously because you're just trying to use, you're only really using a third of the video quality so I'm just going to change that back to one screen each so it just uses the same video for each screen. This is the least intensive. So as you can see I have this little fish video that's a, a looping video in the background and it looks pretty cool but you know if it's not to your taste well I'm just trying to do something, something a little bit different. Um, I don't really recommend the different videos for each screen because that's obviously going to be the, the least are the most intensive one you can run. Anyway, so I've been really using these little like psychedelic backgrounds. It does play music if there's music in the video. It's just an MP4 files they use. So I'm just going to delete these little ones that I put in there to show you. And if you want to add a video, just hit the little plus. And I'm just in my download, so I just added an MP4 that I downloaded off YouTube uh, with another website, making sure the audio is off. And so I just clicked it there, and it's playing the same one on each screen. So as you can see in the background there is a little video. These little settings are quite important. So if you don't want it in the little bottom bit there, you can do it to put it on startup and make it go to the system tray so it doesn't get in the way. And there's little, these little settings. So if you haven't got that powerful of a computer, you can set them to either pause the video or stop the application while you're in a uh, window full screen or in a game or anything that uses DirectX. Um, you can change the back, the opacity of the icons, which is a really cool feature. So you know if you can you want them you know sort of dim and you want them to highlight whenever you hover over them just use that setting. Um, well, just use this little setting here. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. Just makes it look a little bit cleaner. And even if you don't want to use a video, that's still a, c a cool uh, feature. So you can pause the video as well. It really doesn't use that much CPU power. That I've noticed I'm only getting like one percent use with a 4770K. You can slow down the video speed, it doesn't really look that great, but if you speed it up, it's just it's a bit too distracting. Um, obviously, you just want to change the video, you just click it there, and you can do you know different aspect ratios or whatever, if you want it to stretch the video or fit it or whatever. I think stretch seems to look best for me, for most videos, on a 1080p screen from YouTube. Don't know why, but you think it would just fit perfectly, but it doesn't. Um, you can do shuffle, you can do loop, you can do timed, so it only stays on for a certain amount of time in one video and then it switches. Overall I think this software is really really cool. So if you don't want the application running in the background or you don't want to use it anymore, you just go into the little system tray and exit out of it like that. And I hope you guys liked this video, if you did like it please leave a like, if you didn't don't and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. If you do like my videos and do enjoy my content, please consider checking my Discord or my Twitter accounts where I do post some little updates and stuff. And uh, hope you all hope you all have a really nice night and stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys, and enjoy your day.